So Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I am all about self-love and self-care. But as you all know, self-care can come at a cost, okay? It's just getting more and more expensive and your girl can't keep up every time. But thankfully, I have a little hack that I have been using that will allow me to enjoy the finer things in life at a lower cost. So it is called Resort Pass and I'm gonna to talk to you about my experience with it and why you are gonna to wanna to sign up by the end of this video. So before we get into it, hey girl, hey. My name is Jocelyn and I am the founder of Maximize Money. Um, and my goal is to teach black women like you how to save more, spend wisely, and enjoy life without worrying about if you have the money for it. So if you are a returning member of the Maximize Money Gang, Hey, and if you are a newbie here, welcome. I think you're gonna love it. So let's just get into it. So Resort Pass is something that I took advantage of last year um, for the first time for my birthday. So I'm a big birthday girl, whether it's my birthday or somebody else's birthday, and I'm all about enjoying life. So that means, you know, nice hotels, nice resorts, all the things, but usually that comes at a full price, at a premium price. And if you like to do that, comment below. Um, but we also realized that like that ends up costing a lot of money. So when I found Resort Pass, I was like, ooh, I'm sold. So I'm gonna try to put a video on the screen somewhere, but basically it allows you to explore different resorts for like a quarter of the cost. Now you don't get to stay overnight. There are other resources out there um, that will allow you to book low cost hotels. Comment below if you want me to do a video on that. I'm happy to do it. But with Resort Pass, treat it literally as a pass. A pass gives you access to things, you know, that you wouldn't get if you didn't have a pass, you know? So I booked it to, you know, stay in um, downtown Houston uh, last year like I said, for my birthday. And the pass basically gave me access to a pool. It gave me access to their spa amenities. I'll try to put some videos on the screen of my experience. Um, and you obviously can purchase additional things. So if you wanna actually go to the spa at the resort, you can. Um, if you wanna get food and drinks, which I did, you can. Um, and it just makes for a fun day, you know, where you can just level yourself, lay out in the sun, take advantage of the jacuzzi, take advantage of the pool or any other amenities that they have. There's often levels to the resort, um, the resort passes and they're at the discretion of each hotel. But I loved it because again, I got spa access, not spa services, spa access, you know, at a premium cost. I think my resort pass was like $90. And again, I could be there all day. Um, they had, again, multiple pools. They had a jacuzzi. Um, you got access to the chairs. Like it's all the things, you know? And paying only $80 for it was a game changer because usually to stay at the hotel that I was at, um, which is the Marriott, Mar Marriott Marquis, um, you have to spend $300 for a night. <laughs> you have to spend, it's a lot. I've never stayed there because I just don't, I just, I, maybe one day, but like I just have never stayed there. And I was like, okay, how can I still enjoy my actual day without feeling entitled to stay a night at $300 knowing that I had big birthday plans coming you know travel you know I had international travel two trips that were coming up right after that one for my actual birthday and then one for my cousin's birthday so I was like okay girl we can't do too much like but what can we do and still feel good about it still take some good pictures still let people buy you drinks you know and that's where resort pass came into play um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what else you all want to know about it. Feel free to comment below, but basically they have acts, they have locations across the, the country, you know, there's many locations across the U S there's even some locations abroad, you know, like I've seen it in Cancun, like I've seen it in other places. So even if you happen to be in Cancun over on a layover, or maybe it's your last day and your flight doesn't leave until 9 p.m., you know, and you know, you have to check out of your room at 11 a.m., you have access to resort pass and you can buy a pass and they come at different levels. Um, so basically the cost for them is around, uh, and what I've seen, you know, based on the places that I've looked at, they are between around $30 and $150. And obviously your level of access is determined, uh, determined by where you stay and what you actually wanna do. 
um and it's something that i definitely want to do more of in the year of our lord 2024 okay so i may not be able to stay at a hotel you know once a month you may not be able to stay at a hotel once a month but we can do a resort pass. A resort pass can be as little as $30 and you could buy two drinks for $30, okay? So one way that I'm gonna make sure that I can do this on a quarterly basis is by actually making room for it in my spending plan. Um, and I use my spending plan for all things money. Like every single bill I have, every I ain't gonna say every single expense, I have been forgetting a few, but the, the majority of the expenses, I'll say about 95% of the expenses, but at least I know the other ones that are happening. I put them on my spending plan because this is my bread and butter of all things money. I used to be the girl who would just be vibing out, you know, no plan, no strategy, just vibes out here and, and feeling frustrated when it was time for me to do grown woman things like buy a house and not realize that my money was not where it needed to be. I was spending a lot of money on stuff that didn't even matter. And the more I kind of shared my story with other people, the more they resonated and say, yeah, girl, I don't know where the heck my money is going at the end of the month. I don't know where the heck my money went this weekend. I spent $200 on what? I don't know. And my spending plan can help you do that. We deserve luxury, but we shouldn't have to pay our, our, our arm and a leg to get it, you know? So I am a big advocate of spending plans and I choose the word spending plan and not budget because I don't operate a life of restriction and I don't want you to either. If you wanna go to the resort for a day, baby, do it. You could do resort pass or a, a hack that I shouldn't even be sharing with y'all is that if you book during the week, you could spend half of the price that they advertise on the weekend because there is a thing called, um, dynamic pricing so if you were to happen to go to this marriott marquee on a tuesday versus a saturday night the price is going to be completely different but with resort pass you can go on a saturday and spend 80 90 dollars and still get all the same access that everyone else gets there while they're there so again if you want to make room in your life and in your spending plan for you know resort pass on a quarterly basis, then you definitely want to grab my free spending plan, which is linked below in the description. And it basically helps you to understand where your money is coming and where it's going, you know, because we can always, we know when we get our checks, we get our checks monthly, we get our checks on a bi-weekly basis. Some of us even get paid weekly. And then you look up and realize that you have no money left. And I want us to not do that in 2024 i want us to take control of where our money is going and feel empowered to like look at our numbers no matter how scary they are because that will help you to limit the you know random spins on amazon look it'll help you to be aware of how much you log into shein and that cart that you know you don't need you know it'll help you to have a plan for your money before it even hits your account so that whatever is left which shouldn't be a lot if you use my spending plan properly, but whatever is left, you'll feel empowered and knowledgeable enough to do something strategic with it. And if that means going to the spa for a day, then baby, you've earned that because you've done the most important things in the beginning. So again, I want you to limit your impulsive buying. I want you to limit your emotional spending. I want you to not be spending money before it even hits your account. And I want us to be reaching our goals and our dreams. I know so many people who want to buy a home this year. I know so many people who want to travel more this year. And baby, you need to have money to do that. We're not borrowing We're not borrowing money to do these kind of things. Like, no more Robin Peter to pay Paul. Like, that just don't make sense. Like, it just don't. So, grab my spending plan. It'll help you get your money together. It is free. It is free, it is free. You can download it immediately. The link is in my description. And please tell a friend to tell a friend because I am all about us getting our money right, but I'm also all about us enjoying our life along the process because we only get one baby. Tomorrow is not promised. But what I don't want us to do is be deep in debt and still be trying to out here, you know, flex flexing online. Like that's hella annoying because you a lot of these girls is living on credit, but you didn't hear that from me. So anyway all of our resort pass. Let me know if it's something that you are gonna consider for yourself. Um, and if you are interested, I do have a link below that you can click. Um, I am not an official partner yet, but I do have an affiliate link. So if you actually utilize it, that will help me um, for spreading the message to you. So go ahead and find that link below. Um, let me know any other questions you have about Resort Pass, about my experience with Resort Pass. Um, and let me know if it's something that you're gonna consider adding to your, you know, self-care. Like again, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, but beyond Valentine's Day, right after that is Women's History Month. And before that is Black History Month, okay? And I just feel like 
black women deserve okay so grab you a copy of my free spending plan and then also um let me know in the comments below if you've heard of resort pass um and if so or if not are you going to take advantage of it and let me know where you end up going like where do you live and what's a hotel that you're considering that you've seen on on the website so if you enjoyed this uh please be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already please share this with any other uh girlies nine to five earning girlies that want to add a little more luxury a little more self-care into their lives without breaking the bank um and then i do have another video for all about you know living life you know without you know going into debt for it um i do have a video called beauty maintenance that you can actually afford that i posted a couple of weeks ago where i offer many budget friendly hair and nails tips um for the girls that you know want to be it girls whatever that means i'm that's not my era <laughs> i'm in my uh rich woman era i'm in my wealthy woman era and i want to feel like it and i want to look like it and so that's what that video is all about um i'm all about is looking cute but not you know carrying a bunch of credit card debt to make that happen there's many ways for us to make this happen without having thousands of dollars of debt you know behind us on a monthly basis so Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. And again, let me know if you decide to check out Resort Pass. Let me know if you know about Resort Pass. And of course, let me know about your experience. And I will see you on the next video.